It's a grassroots soccer tournament completely organized by and for the local villagers, and none of them are professional players. They're teachers, truck drivers, policemen, farmers, students and restaurant owners, and construction workers. The youngest, 12 years old with the most senior player aged over 60. So there's no age limit, no gender limit. Anyone can play as long as you're good. And one thing they have in common, huge passion for soccer. Now, Rongjiang is such a unique place. The love for soccer is in their blood. This is a small mountainous county that is home for 28 ethnic minority groups. I'm wearing a traditional dress from the Miao community. So if you ever come to visit, you get to experience a makeover like this. They have 14 standard soccer fields in this county and more than 70% of the schools here provide soccer coaching. And soccer was first brought to Rongjiang in 1940. So if you talk to the villagers, they'll say, oh, we've been playing the sports for over 80 years. We're like the OGs and everybody loves it. Even toddlers love to play it. And it's making real changes to people's life too. Last year during the game season, Rongjiang County attracted more than 5 million tourists translating into tourism income of nearly 6 billion yuan or over 840 million US dollars. And I find that really impressive. Mike, how do you feel about the games? Well, I think it's been a fantastic first day of action here in Rongjiang. Obviously my first time coming here, my first time experiencing this kind of atmosphere, this kind of village experience within China. It kind of reminds me of the non-league that we have in England where these kind of teams, these kind of matches are the bedrock of the local communities. They haven't got lots of money, they don't charge too much for tickets, they generate their income based on what happens on a match day. No TV deals, no shirt sales, nothing like that. It's just the passion for your local community. And to see it come to China is something I've been extremely delighted to see because I think it's fair to say Chinese football domestically or on the international front has been in a dark place for a while. No one can argue that it's going well. So I think Chinese football needs to create some sort of new identity. And having something like this, although it's relatively new in terms of its format, these villages, these traditions, like the one Choyuan is wearing, have been around for hundreds, thousands of years. So if you can combine those sense of traditions with football and a new league in, the, in this village surrounding, then you create a new Chinese football identity. And I think we're going to see more and more international icons from the world of football coming together to put their support behind this project. And I think the future is extremely bright.